Well, hey y'all, it's Dan. I wanna welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. And you know what we're gonna talk about today? Let me bring you up to speed. We're gonna talk about some mushrooms. So let me get set up and we're gonna rock right into it. All right, y'all, let's rock on into it. Uh, the mushrooms that we're gonna talk about today are the Strafaria ragusa annulata, or the wine cap mushroom, uh, the garden giant, or just the wine cap. Uh, it's a really, really, really good mushroom, somewhat similar to a portobello in texture. Uh, of course, you can't find, well, you can find portobello sometimes in the stores here in East Central Mississippi but you're not gonna find the wine cap mushroom. And by all accounts and from what I understand, the wine cap and the portobello, even though they're different species, taste alike. And that's what I'm, I'm looking for. Something that tastes like a portobello, but can, I can grow it outside and uh, pretty easy. So let me point you down. I'm gonna show you the wine cap beds that I had planted probably about uh, four months ago. So let me show you. He, there are the wine cap beds that I planted. Not doing too well. Matter of fact, not really doing anything at all. Uh, I don't see any mycelium growth or anything like that. And I've I've checked them over and over again. I do see a lot of white bugs and stuff like that in there. So I'm gonna call that a bust. I checked this one over here, and I'm probably gonna call this one a bust too. Um, hadn't done anything. By now, I would imagine. Now, nah, then again, I'm not a, a mushroom expert or anything like that. But I understand how the mycelium grows and what to look for. And I think by now, I should have seen some mycelium growth in these beds, which I have not. Now, what I will tell you is the wine cap strafaria, they kind of like a shady spot in the garden they can tolerate a little bit of light but they really like shade uh, over here is going to be the east and that's the west that way is north of course the other way is south and i'm thinking when the sun comes up and it crest it's beaming down on these beds pretty good you have to you have to water these beds every now and then because they'll dry out real quick but I don't know what happened with these beds so I'm gonna call them they're not doing too well and may do something else with these beds but let me show you this spot I found over here and it's situated pretty much in the same manner as that bed but there's a lot of tree cover and this building right here is my old tractor shed and it's got a lot of a lot of shade and I have found a little spot that I cleared out right here I hope you can see this and I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to propagate some more wine caps in this little area right here just to see how it goes uh, I want to show you this too check this out I thought it was pretty cool this is just the old oak log that was sitting in that area right there. Look what's growing off of it. Mushrooms. Uh, I'm not a mushroom expert or anything, but that sure does look like oyster mushrooms to me. Uh, some of you that may be into mushrooms a little bit more than I am, check that out. That looks like an oyster mushroom growing on an oak log. So, let me get this camera uh, set up, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next, because we're going to do this just a little bit differently. Um, DIY Gardener, once again, this guy is just jammed up when it comes to, uh, you know, things such as mushrooms and uh, mulch and stuff like that, wood chips. But uh, if you would, give his channel a, a check. Uh, he's a jam up guy, uh, has a lot of useful insight very knowledgeable uh, when it comes to uh, I'm not gonna say horticulture but I believe he's an arborist so he's got a lot 
of insight and useful information that he shares with uh, everybody. And he shared a bunch of, bunch of that information with me. But let me get this set up and I'm going to show you how I'm going to propagate these wine capture farriers. Give me a second. Okay, I switched over to the uh, Samsung just for ease and I put it on a big tripod. I'm going to point you down and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. What I have right here is just some cardboard and all I did was I took the hose and I wet this cardboard down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the layers back and it actually Let's see, here's one right here, probably come out good. It peels pretty good. And what I want to do is just expose, uh, real good. What I want to do is expose all of this right here. I'm going to save this part right here too and I'll show you why. But uh, let me hit these guys, let me hit this guy down again. Um, there's a bunch of folks that could do this dry, but uh, to me it works better when the the uh, cardboard is actually wet because it peels apart real good in my opinion. But this is what we want right here. I'm just gonna soak that down real good. I have it in a wheelbarrow. I'm gonna soak that down real good. Now, what I have over here is, oops, sorry about that, right here, is I just actually have a bale of hay, well actually it's straw. That's a bale of straw actually. And over here, I have my wine capture farrier. And I've had this uh, probably for about four or five months. It's been sitting in the refrigerator probably for about four or five months. And we're going to see if I can get these uh, this mycelium to take off. And let me get set up where we're going. We're also going to use some wood chips. I have a whole bunch of wood chips over there. And once I get everything set up in the location where we're going to propagate at, I'll turn the camera back on. And just a heads up, I'm going to try to propagate this um, wine capture farrier two different ways. So... This is going to be the first way, and then once we get done, we'll jump into number two. So, give me a second. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to point you down, and I'm going to show you what I'm fixing to do. Hope y'all can see that. All right. Remember those pieces of uh, cardboard? All I'm going to do is I'm going to set them down right here. These are the pieces that don't have the ridges on it. Set that down kind of as a... A weed barrier. There's one more right here. And I'm going to take the wet pieces and I'm just going to set them down here, kind of like that. And what I did is I actually took some of that hay, see if you can see it, and I actually wet this straw down. I keep saying hay, but I guess well straw. I wet this straw down real good. Put you back over here. I have one more. I'll set it down. Hope y'all can see that. Alright. And that is gonna be that's gonna be the substrate for the wine capture farrier and I actually forgot it so let me pause this and I'll be right back all right let's rock on I'm gonna point you down brought this tripod down just a little bit closer to eye level ground level so you can see this is my wine capture farrier and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle it onto this cardboard it doesn't matter if it's in big chunks or not it'll be okay I'm just going to sprinkle it onto this onto this cardboard. And all I'm trying to do is give this mycelium a jump start. There we go. Save a little bit of this for 
too. This is what it looks like. And it it uh, smells real earthy too. That straw, the wet straw, I'm just going to put straw right on top of it. About one or two inches thick, something like that. Cover it up. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and get some of those wood chips uh, from the wood chip pile. So give me a second and then I'll be right back. All right, let's head over here to this wood pile, this wood chip pile, and let's get some wood chips. Stay in there. Whew. Sure does look like it wants to rain something fierce. And all we're going to do is we're going to grab some wood chips and we're going to create maybe a five or six inch pile on top of what we already have now I have not verified what kind of wood chips these are I'm just gonna say a lot of it is gonna be oak because it smells like oak might have some pine mixed in here that I don't know but it'd be okay. All right, I think that'll do it. All right, so let's get this back over here to this Strafaria bed and we'll rock on. All right, almost there. All right, let us proceed. Alright y'all, I think we beat the rain, so let's get down to it. I'm going to point you down. I have my wood chips right here, and over here is our bed. Point you down. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these wood chips and sprinkle them on top. I think that'll do it. So, I think that's going to do it. And again, I don't know. I just like uh, experimenting with things. Um, I don't know if this is the correct way to do it. Uh, DIY Gardener, uh, you watch this video, um, let me know. Am I doing this right? What are we going to see? Because the only way you're going to learn is if you do it. And if it works, you did it right. If you didn't, you got to back up and punt. Try it all over again. So, I'm going to turn this camera off. And then hopefully, if the rain stays away, we'll get into that, that second method that I'm going to try to propagate some uh, wine capture farrier. So, give me a second. All right, let's proceed with step two on how we're going to try to propagate these uh, wine capture farriers. What I have down here, I'm going to point you down, is I have just the old, like a sterile light container. I drilled some holes down at the bottom so this thing can vent. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to take these pieces of cardboard, just like the, the ones we used in the, in the first 
part of it. And I'm going to take some of this blind cap capparia. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of it down on there. Kind of like that, just to see, see what it does. I don't know if that's too much, but heck, I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. See what it does. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to take, I have some straw over here. Some wet straw. Get a little ringing out maybe. I'm just going to put some straw on top of it. This is kind of like a lasagna method. Take another piece of uh, cardboard. I'm going to lay it down in there. Take some of this fine cap to area. Sawdust spawn. Just going to sprinkle some more on there. Now, will this work? I don't know. We're going to try it. Seen a few videos on it. And hey, it's possible. Alright. Give me a little bit more straw. I'm wringing it out just a little bit. Lay a little bit of straw up in there. Now you could do this in a big old, you know, big tote if you wanted to, I would imagine. I guess it would work. Alright, well, I guess we'll do one more layer. Do something like that. Layer that on there. It's going to be a mushroom lasagna. Okay. Grab what's left of this straw. Give it a good ringing. Lay it down on top of there. something like that all right and I have a probably That on top rail like that, and there you go. All right, let me get situated here. All right, so there we go. We uh, we're gonna try to propagate the wine caps Cafaria, the Ragusa onulata, uh, the Garden Giant. Or red cap, wine cap, mushroom. We're gonna to try to go ahead and propagate it two different ways. Uh, one, we did it out there in that real nice shady spot behind the uh, the tractor shed with all the trees that are overhanging. Should get a whole bunch of shade and just a little bit of sunlight. And we did it this way. We just took our cardboard and layered it. Piece of cardboard, a little bit of. Uh, Stafaria sawdust, uh, well, the wine cap uh, sawdust spawn, a little bit on the uh, the uh, cardboard, put a little bit of uh, hay or straw. I wrung it out real good. I don't know if it's supposed to be wet. I don't know. Again, I mean, I'm not a uh, mushroom expert, but I like to experiment with stuff and just see how it works. 
If it works, cool. If it doesn't, I'll tell you it doesn't. So, we'll just see what happens. I'm kind of excited myself. I forgot to mention, uh, the one that we did in this little small tote thing, I'm going to keep it in my shack. <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> excuse me again. It maintains, uh, I don't know, 75, 80 degrees, something like that. I'm just going to keep it in there and check on it every day. So, I want to throw that out there too. So, y'all, if you like this video, go on and throw one of those up. Consider subscribing if you want to. And, y'all, it's not about all the things that you can get, but it's really going to be about all the things that you can get back. So, we'll see you in the next video.